Jesus Christ. Today, we being the Sunday school kids are going to present a small skit in front of you and the title and the character of our skit is Kedia. The people of the Lord did what was wrong in his sight. So, the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Midianites for seven years. During this time period, whenever the Israelites harvested crops, the Midianites would come and take them, leaving them with nothing. Ah, finally, brethren, we can gather our grain in peace. The gods have truly blessed Israel. You mean our God? Well, he has truly blessed us. Yes, he has. Attack! Leave none of the cattle behind! Elohim, God on high, can you hear your people cry? Help us now, this dark hour, deliver us, hear our call, deliver us. Lord of all, remember us here in this burning sand, deliver us, you have left us, deliver us from these wretched men. Now, there was a man of the house of Joash threshing wheat in secret in his family's wine press, fearing an attack from the Midianites. An angel of the Lord came to him and said, God is with you, mighty man of valor. Who? Me? A mighty man of valor? I'm sorry, I think you got the wrong guy. I'm sure you need one of my brothers, for I am the weakest in our family. Go in this might of yours and save Israel. But how? How can I do such a thing? Do not fear, for I am with you, and you will strike the Midianites as one man. How am I going to pull this off? Am I really the last hope for Israel? You see...
Gideon, you must destroy the evil that has led my people astray. What? Lord, you know I cannot do that. You know my father Joash, he is a very, very influential man. Eh, what's that? Did God want you to destroy Israel's wealth? You were not supposed to hear that. Now please do not tell Papa. Well, count me in. I've been waiting for some heavenly sent adventure. Now my worship of Yahweh will be publicized. Let Baal contend against him. Lord, let this fleece which I lay out be wet with dew in the morning, but the ground be dry. It was as Gideon has asked, in the morning the ground was dry, but the fleece wet with dew. However, it still wasn't convinced. Lord, please do not be angry with me. But let this fleece which I lay out be dry in the morning, but the ground be wet. And so it happened that the, the fleece was dry as ever, but the ground was as wet as a morning. Lord, now I know that you have spoken and have chosen me to lead Israel to victory. Now Gideon had assembled a great army of many, his confidence in the chance that they could beat the Midianites had slowly increased, but God's voice came back. Gideon, I do not want Israel to be too overconfident and think that they defeated the Midianites on their own. Send those who are afraid home. But Lord, we barely have enough men right now to beat the vast armies of Midian and mercenaries. But I will believe that you are a God of miracles and will do as you say. So he sent the ones that were afraid home, for scared shoulders were not good. After that, the Lord told Gideon to test the Israelites. He sent them to drink from the river. He was told to look for two types of people, those who were alert and those who were not. Those who were not alert were sent back home. And so Gideon had to make do with the amount of 300 men who were willing to fight against the Midianites. The Lord sent Gideon and Pura to the Midianite camp for confirmation. What? Where are we going? To the beginning of that camp. Come on, we have no time to lose. What is it? Why are we going there? Because God told us to. Now let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So Gideon went up to the borders of the Midianite camp and he heard two Midianites speaking to each other. I had the weirdest 
dream last night. <laughs> a little humble big barley red came tumbling down the hill and knocked down the main tent. I think I know what your dream means. I think it means that the barley loaf will represent the Israelites attacking us and destroying us all tonight. We better run. Look at your life. Look at your life. 